Fine. Our last uh, session we saw about the uh, start in the fourth model we saw about the embedded systems concept. We looked at the, the characteristic uh, and quality attributes, then operational, non-operational attributes. Now in uh, today's session uh, we look at the embedded system application point of view and domain point of view. There are two examples. One example is on uh, uh, application example washing machine and domain is automotive domain. Okay. Even we discuss about, about the continuation of some hardware software code design, programming model, embedded format design and development. Okay. Okay. Now we'll uh, look at the embedded system application and um, application and domain specific. Now here uh, we start with a few some few examples it will come from that. So he will not only discuss about the application also, also some few new network technology interests in automotive domain. A uh, few are examples are like CAN, LIN, then most. These are some uh, network protocols. Uh, not in detail, but in brief, we'll look at it in, into these three protocols. Even we will look at into the the electronic control unit that is high speed or low speed, and we have to use it. And why uh, these? Because these are related to automotive. Okay. Now move on to next one. Now here we we'll look at the two. Things that is uh, application specific and domain specific. Application specific, uh, many examples are there like a uh, washing machine, microwave oven, digital camera, a yeah, number of examples are there in embedded point of view. But when you come to some uh, specialization or domain point of view, but there are various domains are there uh, in embedded system. Example like consumer electronics domain, uh, telecom domain then automotive then industrial controls so in consumer electronics like television system setup box uh, these are the few examples of even uh, uh, microwave and washing machine these are the some examples uh, which um, specific examples of uh, consumer electronics telecom mobile phone then uh, any base station or we call it as a tower then you know, telecom server design these are part of an embedded system automotive like four wheeler vehicles uh, speed control ignition control then the fuel injection control the complete brake system or any security system or uh, passenger protecting protecting system these are come under automotive domain uh, it's not that only applicable to only four wheeler vehicles it can be any more than four wheeler vehicle also okay. industrial control like uh, Nowadays, split management is used uh, like online shopping, then uh, uh, the POS machines, these are come under the industrial controls. Now, we we'll look at the two. Uh, one example is on application specific, and another example is on the uh, domain specific. That is, first one is washing machine, then we'll go to the autom automotive. So in washing machine, the washing machine come in uh, two model. One is it's this this model is called is a top loading model, and this is front loading. Model. Okay. So the two models are basically the based on the cost. Okay. The low cost model usually is top loading model low cost. Front model is a bit costlier. Okay. But and again need the uh, Cost affect the performance also. Okay. Now, we'll look at the working of this one by one. So, in washing machine, how many parts are there? Which are the parts? One well, first one is actuator, then sensor, then control unit. Okay. The actuators uh, in include like an agitator, then tumble tub, uh, water drawing pump inlet wall and some control flow and uh, the nothing but flow of control of the water that can be done by actuators okay the sensors like water temperature sensors then level sensors okay level sensor basically how much the level of water inside the 
inside the tumble tub. Okay. Controls are to control the activities of sensor and actuator we can achieve with the help of controller like microcontroller or you can use microprocessor also okay, which can basically helps to coordination between the sensor and actuator. Sensor work usually provide the sensor values based on the actuator acts on it okay. and control unit usually coordinate all the these activities of not only sensors also the various parts of the washing machine. Okay. Then uh, there are many uh, options are usually provided in washing machine like uh, light mode, medium mode and heavy mode, duty mode. It depends on what type of cloth uh, you are washing into the used for the washing. Okay. Then some display units also available on uh, typical almost all typical washing machine displays are there that can be done uh, showing by LCD or LED connections. Okay. Panels will be available and along with the control panel. Now look at some uh, typical uh, washing machine diagram. Uh, this is typical. Uh, this we can uh, basically use uh, for exam point of view. Okay. This is much easier uh, to write in exam also, theory exam. Okay. Now here this shows the uh, different parts of the washing machine. Along uh, we can also we can say for functional diagram of washing machine. Uh, this is the interactive panel uh, then level sensors like almost the water level then the water inlet pipe uh, then water outlet pipe then inner tub and then outer tub this is body case and temperature sensor and some various keyboards are there along with the LED display okay. now we will go into the more detail uh, 3D diagram Slide. Uh, here we get the more uh, exact picture of how exactly the washing machine inside. Inside the what are things are the inside the washing machine. Okay. Now here the inner tub, outer tub. Inner tubs are having holes are there on that. Okay. So this complete tub is outer tub. Okay. Then uh, two water inlets are there that can be pump in and pump out nothing but uh, to pump that can be water inlet is to pump the water inside the inner tub and after uh, any use uh, after you washing the clothes you have to take out the excess water with the help of outer tub okay this is the outer tub now the middle one is agitator it will rotate the in the clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction so that can the cloths keep on moving with that agitator agitator having on that uh, the, these are the different shapes are used it's not typically the same shape different shape will be available okay. this will help the cloth can move from down when the cloth is inside this uh, inner tub the down and then pull it up then again down and pull it up so this is the way of washing the any cloth typical manually way how we wash it the same way it uh, uh, to, to go down and go it up then down okay. this way the agitator will rotate it okay. then it's having different modes are there you look into these modes the more first one is the top loading model uh, instead of saying modes we will say that phase wise how it works it okay. in top loading model I just now discussed that uh, the cloth uh, go from down to top but in case of front load it will the, the cloth are inside the tumble and the plug in the water and over and over again now here in Front load model that going top uh, down to top, the cloth is moving based on the speed of the agitator. Now, exactly in the in case of front loading, here the front loading front loading it moves the cloth from down to top then top to down keep on repeating here 
now instead of writing this one I will write like this uh, this is down top and this is okay. this way the cloth is start moving it in case of uh, front loading it will rotate like this along with the inner tub inner tub is rotating outer tub is in stable fashion the, the functionality is same but the capacity hold by a front load or the weight of cloth is more uh, more capacity compared to in front load more capacity compared to the top loading okay. now I'll move on to next part the phase okay. the second phase usually need the three three sub phases are there wash spin and phase. the wash is to only the clean with the help of water which include like uh, with the help of soap and it is nothing but mixing of water and det detergent in proper and and it can mix with the cloth also and the cloth can be different types of cloth it can be cotton it can be silk or it can be thick uh, any uh, any type of uh, cloth also the spin is to can be achieved with the help of your agitator the spin mode is is basically used or spin basically used to to remove the excess water or remove the water from the cloth this can be achieved with the help of centrifugal force okay it will keep on rotating without any water there is no the excess water is removed with the help of water outlet the water we need to remove from the cloth with the help of spin thus the centrifugal force will create here like this here So when centrifugal force the cloth will come to the edge of the inner tub because of the centrifugal force the excess water from the cloth come out and collected at the outer tub the how it is collected because of inner tub having lot of holes are there from this hole the excess water come out from the cloth okay. then uh, that is gathered that is collected in the outer tub and it will take it out from the water uh, water out with the help of pump okay. then rinse one is basically to remove the any excess uh, detergent or soaps are uh, from the cloth it will keep on rotating with the water inside the water it will keep on removing it that is the that way it remove the excess any detergent or dirt from the cloth now the different uh, features are available it's not that uh, uh, only to wash spin rinse the different modes are very heavy heavy duty more heavy more light more nothing but how much uh, speed of agitator that rpm will decide that okay if it is light mode the rpm speed is lower speed because cloths are like silk it does not mean you can't rotate that silk cloth in the uh, and highway mode or we can't increase the architecture rpm although it will get tear out okay based on the type of cloth we will different modes we can choose it then different interactive uh, or display panels are there it will provide the status of whether it is uh, the water is full the temperature is in under control or any other error message displayed on it okay. and with this with the help of this interactive panel and the coordination of sensors the keyboard and actuators different parts of washing machine we can run it with the help of microprocessor now now we will move on to the this is about the simple way working of uh, washing machine now we'll move on to the next uh, that is domain specific and looking at the washing there are few parts are there like actuator sensors and the control unit but if you look at the automotive domain n number of parts are there or n number of sub units are instead of saying part units are there okay now for example here battery management then engine cooling fan then oil and water pump then uh, emergency brake system then security gateway if you are interested to any internet okay for any router you are using it then some camera system is available then air suspension 
then the rear camera. So nothing but the seat control, nothing but the n number of units are there. And this is one simple example. Actually, the more than more than more number of units will be there. Each unit having some different controller is or processor is used, and these are connected by some network. Okay. Now, how many will, uh, many things will be there? Uh, more widely uh, complex units are like airbag controller, then anti-lock braking system (ABS). Okay. The very, uh, more complex things are there. Seat belt, the mirror adjustment, then a simple uh, algorithm is required. But in case of the airbag, we need uh, uh, specialized controllers are required, and it should act immediately. Then some D DSP controllers are used and some are electronic control units also are used. DSP is, uh, is for the any, if you are working with any media or any uh, sound based or any video based system are using it. Usually in small uh, vehicle also there are 20 to 40 uh, units are there or ordinary there are, um, controllers are used. If it is sophisticated vehicle or luxury vehicle, it's having around 75 to more than 100 number of controls are used. Now here, how we can decide which control we can use it, whether we need high speed or whether we need low speed. Two control units are, are there, high speed embedded control unit and low speed embedded control unit. In case of high speed, of course, it will provide the result in or uh, provide the in faster way or response is much faster. Like example, it is used in the fuel injection unit, anti-lock braking system unit, then airbag, steering control, transmission control. But low speed basically is for I mean like a mirror adjustment. The response time can be acceptable or it can may, may provide the uh, should not provide within st uh, stipulated time. The late response also is acceptable. That is low speed. Like example, audio control, like volume up down, then passenger and door lock, then door glass control. These are some common low speed embedded control. Okay. Wherever the wherever we need a fast response, so we need of course we need to use the high speed control. Unit. I'll move on to next one. Then automatic different communications are there as we discussed because as, is, uh, as you know that in small cars having 20 to 40 control controllers are there, luxury cars having you know, more than 100 controllers are how they are connected or how they are communicate to each other and uh, provide the balance the functioning of the vehicle. Okay. The first one is the control area network CAN protocol is used. Then lean is local internet connection. Then most most means media oriented system transport bus. Okay. Uh, these are like different uh, your common network topology. You can say that okay. or, uh, to, or to common network protocols are used. But these are related to embedded or specific domain. Okay. Here, in case of uh, CAN protocol. This is uh, proposed by uh, Robert Bosch. Uh, it is medium speed working, and also we can use high speed versions are available. Okay, medium speed of 120 kilobits per second, and high speed is 1 megabits per second. This is basically used in uh, where response time is faster is required. For example, in embedded uh, safety system like airbag, anti-lock braking system, or navigation system. Okay, and these are usually event driven protocol. And even it can handle error, uh, error handling and capability also included. Okay. Now we'll move on to next burst type is uh, that is lean. Lean is single master uh, slave kind of thing. There is only at a time uh, only one master, one unit acts as a master, and rest all become the slave. Okay. The single line simple communication, but the problem is it is low speed uh, with the with the rate of 20 kilobits per second. This we can use like adjustment of mirror, or fan control, or seat position control, window control. But it's a simple, it does not, the response time can be late 
is acceptable in that lean is used and this is low cost that's why it's popularly used in automotive now next one is most basically most is used for the media name itself say that media oriented basically use like in music system or any video players are is installed in automotive somewhere. and these are connected to by some uh, these different units are usually connected by fiber optic then nothing but point to point communication they how they will usually follow some digestion fashion topology or ring topology or star topology okay this is star topology the center acts as hub these are on the uh, post arm there okay in the ring fashion this is ring fashion so in the, if it is ring fashion we of course we go for the digestion topology or to adopt it uh, so these are the some network topologies are happening in the automotive domain. If it is telecom domain, different topologies are used. If it is any aerospace domain, the different topologies are used. Or number of units get it varies. In, if it is aerospace domain, around thousands of units are there or controllers are used. They can they communicate each other with different network topologies also are used. Okay. Now in the so who are the key players in the automotive domain? Uh, it is based on the whether they are a silicon manufacturer or any platform their tools are providing even solution providers are there. Uh, these silicon uh, nothing but IC manufacturers. Uh, how much the IC speed type of memory, how many pins are there, what are the capabilities are there, these are provided by the this IC manufacturer like example uh, more widely uh, in almost motor automotive domain are uh, Xilinx is more clearly available even some uh, uses the Atmel analog devices then NXP semiconductors these are the name of the manufacturers okay. tools are like uh, EDA tools or IDE tools are provided to manufacturers to make it operatable or uh, functionality understand to design the prototype model then uh, to design any real time operating system okay. like um, uh, example is Mathwork, Kyle software or Luther batch then Microsoft also will provide some uh, tools and platform solution provides are like uh, original equipment manufacturers the complete wide solution of automotive uh, automotive model it can be it's not four wheeler it can be heavy vehicle system also uh, most popular uh, solution provided is Bosch, then Denso, then Continental also is there, even our uh, Indian company Infosys also will provide the automotive solutions. Okay. LP is more popular, European company, European uh, uh, solution, the automotive solution provider. So these are the names of the few who are key players in the automotive model. Okay. In the next session, uh, we'll look at the hardware software co-design model. Okay, thank you.